If you're still questioning Brad Holmes, I don't think you're a real Detroit Lions fan. He's done nothing but the last few days prove to us fans that he is the right guy for the GM job. He's done nothing but make moves that make sense for the Detroit Lions, not big splash moves like us fans want. We're fans. Of course, we want the top players, but he's smart. He's not overpaying anybody, and he's getting value, or value, value for his deals, man. This is so encouraging as a fan to finally have someone competent in the front office, man. I'm super pumped. The Detroit Lions, with breaking news here, just got done signing Emmanuel Mosley, cornerback from the San Francisco 49ers on a one-year, $6 million deal. Before he got hurt last year, he was balling out one of the 49ers' best corners on their team. Then he unfortunately tore his ACL in week five or week six against Carolina, so who knows when he's going to be ready to come back for the Detroit Lions, but hopefully when he does, fun fact here, Cam Sutton and him were teammates in college, so they're teaming back up. Hopefully they can ball out again like they did in college, man. That would be encouraging. And it just keeps adding depth to that secondary. And I still would not be mad if we draft one. And this changes the way we look at the draft. At six, now you go best player available. I still want defensive line. If Jalen Carter's there, you still go with Jalen Carter. But now through the draft, you can draft a corner. You can draft a linebacker. You can draft best player available because we're addressing the needs in free agency. And Brad Holmes is doing it the smart way. And here's a huge, huge breaking news a little bit ago. Huge underrated breaking news. The Detroit Lions are re-signing John Kaminsky to a two-year deal. I don't know what it's worth. I wasn't paying attention to the money. I just know it was a two-year deal. I think it's six million, six or eight million. No, it's eight million, four and four million guaranteed. But that is huge for the Detroit Lions. John Kaminsky was huge for the Detroit Lions last year. He was, he, I think, he was a key underrated success uh, reason to why Aiden Hutchinson had a lot of success. When, uh, there's a stat out there when John Kaminsky was hurt last year, we were 0-5. When John Kaminsky played last year, we were 9-3. And, and I think Aiden Hutchinson has he was a huge contributor to Aiden Hutchinson's success because that took a lot of stress and double teams off Aiden Hutchinson because John Kaminsky was getting so much pressure. Now imagine if we keep adding talent to that defense line, you put John Kaminsky on the inside like they were putting him last year on the outside. You put you can line this defensive line up with the young talent that are hungry. And we still got James Houston. We draft Tyree Wilson or Will Anderson if he fell to us or any of these Lucas Van Ness from Iowa. If any of these edge rushers follow us, man, it's going to be lights out for this defensive line. I'm super pumped with the way the direction's going. They're not big splash moves like us fans want, but they're the right moves for the Detroit Lions. I cannot blame Brad Holmes. Stop questioning the guy. He just keeps making solid move after solid move. We may not agree with it, but it's the right move. It's your boy T signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.